They got a demon? Oh my god, the Eye of Cthulhu. This is pretty sick. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft Terraria mod, Terraria mod Minecraft video. As you can hear in the background, we got the uh, Terraria music bumping. And today we are checking out, oh, the music reset. Today we are checking out the Terraria Reloaded mod. Now, I hope I haven't checked this mod out in the past. I don't think I did because there's 1.4 items in it which means there's no way i checked it out in the past if i did then at least it's updated but look at this there's even bosses and stuff like this has to be all new content this terraria music is gonna bug me because it's super loud for me and it sounds perfectly fine for you guys but right now i'm getting blasted but let us start with showing off some of the weapons we got the copper short sword boom 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 that took like five hits that's a lot of hits this mod also includes these stylish scissors which allows us to you know cut up our hairs and stuff hey speaking of cutting stuff up let's check out today's sponsor manscaped is today's sponsor and they hooked it up with a performance package kit in the package kit they include the lawnmower 3.0 a waterproof trimmer that has skin safe technology so you won't be cutting up the goods when it's time to shave it also comes with the crop preserver a ball deodorant and ball toner spray this one is for those nice with that special someone if you know what i mean then there's also the weed whacker a nose and ear hair trimmer so for anyone that has problems with trimming those areas manscaped is here for you don't think that manscaped forgot about your toes and nails too introducing the shears 2.0 a luxury nail kit for a limited time you guys can get everything i just mentioned and two free gifts the shed travel bag and the manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs so what are y'all waiting for go to manscaped.com today and get 20 percent off plus free international shipping plus the two free gifts when you use promo code game 20 at manscaped.com your balls and your body will thank you let's get back to the video let's go ahead and check out a bunch of the other weapons maybe we should do a throwables first let's do throwables some of these are going to get quite destructive if they work exactly how they work in terraria we got another pillager right here or whatever the hell these guys are called let's throw the knives okay they, they don't have like an animation like a 3d animation it's legit we're just throwing a knife at them there's no spin or anything it's fine it, i mean it works if it works it works next up we got the poison knives let's see if these actually inflict poison or not yes they do that's nice to know let's go ahead and see the dynamite oh we got a pink sheep right here perfect to test the dynamite out on i don't know where the dynamite went i'm assuming it's still right there it just takes a while to explode okay i, I don't know if the dynamite works or not oh okay so it doesn't break blocks it's just contact damage I, I don't know it's not oh that time it blew up a block okay interesting these things are kind of buggy what about the bombs okay the bombs might be a little bit more consistent they do blow up blocks too very very nice no let's make a hell hole i'm just kidding that, that didn't even do anything next up we got grenades now i'd be surprised if these blew up blocks but you never know no okay they don't they seem to do like the same damage as a knife because i've thrown like as many as i've as many knives as i threw at the last uh pillager so uh these things don't really seem to do good damage next up we have an assortment of weapons here we're gonna just check out the ones that stand out the most uh let's start with the yo-yos i'm interested to see how the yo-yos work in this mod okay so they are on a string very interesting damn dude, this thing's kind of far how can i reach this guy oh look at this oh <laughs> that's not bad okay th there's a weird animation but like it works how you would expect it to work and it actually does good damage because it is the yellets the yellets is a pretty high damage dealer uh let's see the ones that actually you know do effects and stuff like the terrarian the hellfire amarok uh, the chick let's see if these uh do any effects as in freeze frost burn and fire you know all the usual okay i'm not seeing a frost burn honestly it's understandable okay am i reaching past him i can't tell let's see the hellfire if it catches anything on fire i don't think it is i'm kind of having troubles hitting the enemies and then the terrarian oh it does have a special effect okay that's good to see whoa this is pretty sick I thought they were just going to cop out and have no special effects. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, good job, mod creator. But I think that's enough for yo-yos there. We we saw what they uh, we saw how they work. Uh, not all of them have their special effects. Well, given not, there's not even too many yo-yos in the game that have special effects. But we get the point. Next up, we have to see the Knight's Edge just because it's the Knight's Edge. Oh, it looks a little tiny. Looks oh, I take it back. It looks really big in third person. What the hell? It's really tiny though in first person. But let's see it in action here. I don't 
don't expect more than two swings. Okay, good. I was about to say, more than two swings? Like, come on, bro. It's the Knight's Edge. This is a hard work to get your hands on. All right, but yeah, let's take uh, some more of the more unique weapons out here. The ones that have special effects. Let's start with the Star Fury, okay? I'm not seeing anything. Maybe because I'm just not hitting. Okay? No stars. It looks like there's no stars from the Star Fury. A little upsetting. We got the Enchanted Sword. What the hell did that just do? I'm assuming this is shooting a projectile. And maybe it's just having troubles. Oh, look. It's like underneath me. Look at it, Snowballs. It's not even hitting anything, though. Okay, very interesting to say the least. Uh, beekeeper. I don't expect the bees to spawn. Which is kind of upsetting because, like, the version we're playing on is Minecraft 1.15. So, like, this would be perfect for bees right now. Okay, so we got some more unique weapons here to check out. Let's see the stylish scissors. I don't know why I said unique. These things aren't actually that unique. They're kind of just like a regular sword in the base game. Uh, we got the Terra Grim. We'll check that out in a second. Tragic Umbrella. Don't tell me this is just a melee weapon. It is just a melee weapon. Ice Blade. Do we shoot a projectile? No. Breathing Reed. Can we actually breathe with this? Probably. I'll test that out in a second. But uh, it's got some range on it. Like that, that feels like some good range right there. We got the regular umbrella. I guess it doesn't matter now. And we got the ruler. My favorite new melee weapon in the game. <laughs> Let us see the Terra Grim in action here. Does it actually do anything cool? Probably not. Okay, that's a little upsetting. Maybe it is doing something cool and we're just in third person so we don't see it. I don't know. Let me see. Nope, it doesn't do anything cool. A little upsetting. Uh, we got the bladed glove. I just wanted to see if I could attack quickly with this. And yeah, you can. The, uh, the swing or whatever the hell that is. The sword bar recharges really quick. So you can you can get some swings off real quick. All right, let's go ahead and just go over the final set of things. I want to go over here. The shot bow and the repeater. That's about it. Everything else I don't really care about uh, because most of them apparently just don't do their special effects or anything, which is kind of understandable. It's a little bit harder to code that into Minecraft, but it's still possible as we saw with the Terrarian. What is that over there? Just snowballs falling. <laughs> uh, that's a very interesting way to hold a repeater and shot bow, but let's test it out. Okay, this thing is pretty damn good. I mean, all the repeaters and shot bows are pretty damn good in uh, the base game too. But like, this is this is extraordinary. One tap with a bow in Minecraft? I mean, it's possible, honestly. But like, this is still pretty fire. Let's go ahead, let's see the hollowed repeater too. Also, one tapping has great range, has great speed. Amazing. Okay, so we got all the ores here. Uh, not in a specific order, but we're also in survival mode. We're going to just check out and make sure the pickaxes uh, actually work on the ores they're supposed to. But we got a uh, silver pickaxe here. Looking like it's working fine so far. Uh, silver shouldn't be able to mine demonite and crimtane. So let's see. It's looking like it's not going to mine it. So I'm going to just stop there. So we're just going to go straight to the, the nightmare pickaxe. And this should easily mine this okay maybe not okay I, I don't know why this is so slow maybe the silver one did work let's see okay absolutely not okay into this interesting to say the least uh but it should be able to mine hellstone right okay not looking good for the hellstone either so i'm just not even gonna mine it we got the molten pickaxe now this should be able to mine hellstone right okay that's also looking very slow what about this Okay, also very slow. What about the pickaxe axe? Come on. This better be able to mine everything. Okay, looking good so far. This is chlorophyte, palladium, mithril. It should be able to mine all of this, no problem. Uh, adamantite, yes sir. Chlorophyte. Did I say chlorophyte for cobalt? I might have. But that all worked perfectly fine. I don't know why the other ones didn't work. Uh, we got the pick saw, which also should work flawlessly on all of this. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why these lower tier ones were having problems. I don't know if the like order of mining stuff is changed in this mod. Who knows? Oh, look at this. Mining hellstone actually does spawn in the lava. Okay. See, at least they got some details in here. Whether or not there's a couple of buggy things things in here are things that are that don't do exactly what they do in terraria there's still some little details in here which i can appreciate all right let us quickly go over a bunch of blocks here we got ash on the floor we got slush slush and silt are both affected by gravity very nice we got mud right here mud looks disgusting we got the corrupt grass block we got the crimson grass block i don't know why the jungle grass block is this color uh very interesting and we got of course mushroom grass blocks and then we have a bunch of assortment of different blocks here you guys could probably tell what each of these are uh this is sand all of this is sand right here we got granite marble pearl stone uh smooth granite marble this is meteorite or completely forgot to put this with the other ores flesh block 
which makes a somewhat disgusting noise. Uh, we got the wood blocks right here, the ebon leaves and shade wood leaves. And then over here, we got the uh, molten blocks, which should light me on fire. Okay, it doesn't. Interesting. Uh, there is a couple more blocks. For some reason, the shade wood and ebon wood logs just straight up don't have textures. I don't know why. And then we got the uh, saplings and mushrooms themselves. Let me go ahead and try and grow these. See if it's even possible to grow these. Uh, do we need anything specific to grow them? Maybe okay no we don't interesting don't know what's up with the texture even though i can obviously see the textures right here in the game there you go these are pretty damn tall trees uh glowing mushroom where can i place this mud dark maybe it has to be dark it probably has to be dark let's get into a darker area this, this is pretty dark i should be able to place it right okay i don't know maybe not dark enough but yeah let's go over the more unique blocks here we got the hellforge high blocks piggy bank crystal heart sword shrine demon altar life fruit and jungle spores piggy bank look at that god damn what's in that piggy bank that shit was heavy okay it actually does work uh you know there's a bee over here where where's the actual beehive at you know i feel like it make more sense if we did it next to the beehive uh but i i don't see one okay never mind i'll just place the high blocks look at that if i break them does stuff come out of it it doesn't look like it maybe it's because i'm in creative i'll hop into survival and then break it no it doesn't but that would be a nice detail in the future next up we got the hell forge go ahead and place this this has a very very nice texture uh makes a lot of lava noises Ooh, look at that so you could probably actually smell something in here what the hell would you put in here hellstone you put hellstone in here and then it, something will happen i don't know there's not two spots for uh obsidian and hellstone so I, I don't know what the hell is for next up we got a crystal heart look at that nice little 3d texture uh life fruit i'm assuming also has a nice texture yep look at that the jungle spores very very nice and we got the sword shrines uh, i don't know if i'm supposed to put a sword in these or what and then we got a demon altar look at that if i break it do ores spawn who knows can i put like a teragrim in the sword shrine no another thing i want to check out here is you know if can i, can I use these if it, can i use these or not I, I don't know maybe because it's just bushes oh there you go life root i don't know maybe i can't use it because i don't uh have you know max regular health let's see boom life crystal okay i don't know how these work maybe they just don't work all right so we have a bunch of food here i don't know if this food buffs us at all i guess i could try and see uh we got the band of regen we got a lot of uh miscellaneous stuff here as you can see uh, i wonder if the magic mirror actually does anything and then we're gonna go over the stuff that i know you guys want to see and that's the bosses but yeah this maybe if i run around a bunch i could get this working who knows uh magic mirror band of regen does the band of regen go anywhere i don't think it does what are these guys doing in here uh magic mirror oh the magic mirror actually brings us back to spawn that's nice to know all right so i'm interested to see what uh summons work here if any at all uh let's go to an open area i'm gonna go back to that village if i'm being honest okay i don't think this is the same village but it's fine a village is a village and let us go ahead and spawn in the king slime if there is a king slime boom I heard it. I heard the, the scary noises. Am I seeing a slime that looks like a king though? Absolutely not. Let me make sure I'm not in peaceful. No, we're normal. What about eater? Okay, no eater. B, queen B? No queen B. Brandy Cthulhu. No Brandy Cthulhu. Okay, eyeball. Okay, there is an eyeball. As you saw, the, something different happened, meaning that there actually is an eyeball. Let's make it nighttime. Get the little nighttime music going on. There we go. The eye Cthulhu has awoken. Don't actually hit me. Uh, the iron golem really wants to fight him. Come on, iron golem. Hit him. Get him. Get his ass. Okay, the iron golem is having a little trouble here. Here, I'll, I'll get really low. I'll get really low. Does that help? Oh. Oh. He's beating his ass. Yeah, get iron golem. Now, this is how you uh, speed run at Terraria Minecraft right here. You no, know, I Cthulhu first night iron golem kill i don't know how much health the eye cthulhu has so this might take a long time honestly let me go ahead and take out the best weapon that i know here the shot bow this should make this fight a breeze oh phase two i kind of want to see what it looks like oh it looks scary it does indeed look scary oh there you go i cthulhu has been defeated i don't see any loot on the floor uh, i don't think this is gonna work the uh guide voodoo doll but we could test it anyways you never know okay we got our lava 
and okay it didn't work <laughs> maybe just because i'm not in the nether i don't think that boss is even in this game or in this mod okay so i noticed on the uh, actual page of the mod that there is a couple enemies and npcs in the pictures uh keep in mind yes this is an early version of the mod uh so a lot of things aren't going to be here but look at this when we try and summon this stuff we could actually see some things here boom does this work look at that crab what else can we spawn in here a golden rat sure why not look at that that rat sure is golden god damn it's loud so there, there's a good bit of uh npcs and monsters we can summon in here a uh, blue slime yes that slime is indeed blue does it have a face no it doesn't okay uh let's go ahead and summon in some of the npcs here actually fuck that fucking npc demon they got a demon oh my god this is terrifying do they only have one eye in the game i, I don't know that's not really something i pay attention to wall of flesh eye eye and mouth interesting i have to see this oh my god there's the wall of flesh eye and then let's put the mouth next to it oh my god <laughs> look at that what else do we have here we got some npcs nice let's go ahead and see a couple of these npcs let's do the the guide you can never go wrong with the guide my boy oh look at him he doesn't look like a villager oh he actually has trades too we got the arms dealer here okay not exactly the trades i was looking for why is that shit on fire oh yeah because i'm put lava on top of the roof demolitionist okay he actually is trading stuff that the mod has nice the models on the npcs are not bad at all they're actually pretty damn detailed we got the die trader here of course trades dies we got the merchant right here he has a good bit of things you can choose from and we have the goblin tinker everyone's favorite npc hey bro how you doing that is looking like that is it uh there is a couple biome generation things like there's a sword shrine thing you can find and then there's like obviously just ores underground uh i'm not really gonna look for those because that might be kind of hard to find even with like x-ray on but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a whole different video planned out but my terraria just straight up doesn't have volume anymore both my team mod loader and just regular terraria just it doesn't have volume anymore and i don't know how to fix it i tried deleting the wave bank the sound bank everything and then verifying files uh, i tried reinstalling the game I, I just don't know what happened to my terraria audio it's just completely gone which is really annoying i have to figure out a fix for it it legit was working the other day and it just stopped working like what the hell i swear the forces of the universe always try to stop me from recording videos but whatever that's something you just gotta deal with but yeah thank you for watching the video follow my twitter because i am gonna be visiting my brother for two weeks meaning that i'm gonna be gone and there's gonna be just some random videos going up while i'm gone follow my twitter if you want to you know see me updating stuff while i'm there but yeah i'll see y'all next time bye bye Check out the mod.